All right, guys, what we're doing today is we're heading across uh, on 455, headed across Lake Ray Roberts. This is a kind of a dual video where I'm going to tell you about stuff in general on this one site that you can go to and you can hit a couple hours is all it would take at the most and it's real easy access and more details on this and a little bit more detail on this are on the patreon channel patreon.com slash so Headed across 455 eastbound the water looks great the temperatures are about it's it's july it's stupid July. It's about 102 outside. It's so bad that the uh, asphalt is bubbling up on the uh, on the road over the bridge, over the, <laughs> over the dam. And uh, North Texas is just plain old burning up right now. So that's what's going on. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across, turn left in the Isle Dubois Park, go through that rigmarole park, and then I'm gonna show you guys a great spot that as far as you have to drive you just stop right there you're gonna walk in it is a friday we'll see how crowded it is just going in the uh, entrance at all the park here on lake ray roberts um, but uh this is a video i've been wanting to do and there's just never a right time to do it it's so freaking hot right now i don't bring a rod I'm not gonna fish i'm just gonna show you guys where to fish all right let's go inside so i'm of the opinion that one of the things you want to do if you're going to Texas Parks, is get a Parks Pass. In this park, it is $7 a person for every adult in the car. You got three adults in the car, that's $21. An annual pass, $70. And everybody gets in on that pass. And the pass goes with the person, not with the car. So here's what a pass, TBWD Parks Pass looks like right here and this will allow you to park when there's nobody tending the stations or, or whatever but these are this is the pass right here get you one of these hopefully it'll be right side up like this <laughs> get you one of these and uh, get yourself uh, into these parks guys I mean this is such an easy way to do it and it is uh, so cheap when you factor out how many times you go to a Texas park TPWD Park uh, over a $70 fee and you can add one more for like $20 or $25 so one house can have two cards anyway that's my tip as far as getting in this long line at the gate here and then we're just going to pull right in and park all right guys so you've just gotten out of your car you parked right up here by the entrance to the park and now we're going to go down you can make a couple wrong turns when to get to this fishing spot so i'm going to try to show you those turns and get it so that uh, you guys have uh, no doubt about where you're going because uh, just like anywhere in the wilderness it's easy enough to get lost this is a great great trail so you can bring a husband or wife and they can go walk the trail it's really cool and it's got, you know, it's got a whole, um, it's actually got a whole uh, thing set up here. So stations where it talks, or uh, talks, where it has signage about what you're looking at. So it's really, really a cool walk. We're in a little stretch of loblolly pines that reaches all the way up here um, to North Texas. And uh, it's just a great walk. So we're walking down the trail. It's paved right here. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the turns you make so that you make the right turns and like i said if you're a patreon subscriber you're going to get maps that's the big difference you're going to get some maps with so this will be a video there it's just like this but it has a little more information on it and so we're coming to our first turn let's take a look at it real quick go left All right, we're on our way. It's not very far at all. As, as a crow flies, probably about 300 yards down to the water. But as the trail goes, never is it straight. <laughs> you know that. And let me remind you once again, like and subscribe. And don't forget, we're in Isle Dubois Park, 
Lake Ray Roberts, north of Dallas, Fort Worth. It's about 45 minutes on a good day uh, of traffic. So it's very close by. It's the weekend. I haven't seen anybody out here yet on the trail. Probably a little early in the afternoon on a Friday. Um, to see people out here. Exponentially more crowded on the weekends now. This place has been discovered. So it is very, very popular. Okay, let's see. I think we're up to our next turn already. Let's take a look. Are we? Are we? No, we're not. This stuff is so burned down over here now with the pine needles. It looks like a trail turn here. But it didn't. Here's some of the signs I was telling you about. Arkansas yucca. I didn't even know that existed here, but anyway, that's interesting. I don't think I've even seen that plant here, but I'm here a lot of times in the early spring just to check things out. And you're going to want to come down here and fish in the evening or early morning for bass. Later in the morning and towards noontime, and the heat of the heat of the whole thing for carp. It's a good carp hole, but it's really short and it uh it's really not crowded i'm trying to be quiet because we're in nature man we're in nature all right here we come to another crossroads let's take a look at this crossroads all right moving that away right there so we're going to kind of diagonally across and down and the sign says trail this trail is open to hikers. Blackjack oak right there. Oh, nice blackjack oak. Well, it was nice at one point. And this is a post oak, of course. Know your trees. Know your trees, people. So now we're on the last stretch going down to the water. And it's not straight, it's kind of crooked, but it straightens out pretty quickly and opens up right on to Lake Ray Roberts and a little cove that I had fished for years and years. So let's check this out. Ooh, there's a nice example of loblolly right there. Let me show you this pine tree. It's awesome. Yeah. Easily 50 feet tall. 40 anyway. I'll give it 40. You could tell I'm gonna have trouble with that uh, drone exam. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I see the water, so it took just this long. I've been talking, my, running my mouth the whole time, and it's only taken this long to spot the water through the trees. You know, because of the heat, there's a lot of pine needles down here. There's not any moisture on this trail. If it rains, this trail gets really kind of icky wet, but it's. The main part of the trail is sandy now, so it's not so bad. And you're gonna love this when it opens up here in a second. This is a neat, neat spot. Just a little ways from Dallas-Fort Worth, even closer to Denton. And on the maps on Patreon, you'll see a little more detail. I've found out that you cannot fly drones in state parks in Texas, except for one or two places where they have flying fields. So, <laughs> The only way I can do it is to fly off the boat. And I'm just not there yet. But I will be. So we're making our way. Let's see how this opens up. And you'll know you're on the right track. It looks like that right there. It's dry now. <clears throat> Last time I was here, it was really wet, but it is super dry now. But when you see this water, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. What a great spot to fly fish. Easy access. What did it take me? Three minutes to get here from the car. Didn't see a single person. Still don't see anybody. I don't hear anybody. I hear no people. I see no people. And I smell no people. This water is just spectacular. It's so clean right now. Um, you know, there's not any boat activity in here because it's not the weekend yet. People are gonna get here. 
but wow, it looks just great. It looks just awesome. What I'll do is we'll cut away. I'll show you a map for bo on both Patreon and on this YouTube video, um, just so I can show you from the air, kind of like there's a there's a nice dip and a and a inlet right there where the creek comes in. And what we'll do is we'll get that on the map for you and for the Patreon folks. And then if you go over this way, there's a little bit more. But in, in grand total, we're talking about ooh, maybe. I don't know, eighth of a mile of good water here. But I'm gonna show you this water because it is so good. It is so unbelievably good. The clarity and just the, the actual like the contours on this, really great. Let's see if we can ambush a fish over here. Sometimes we get lucky. The water's so hot, it may not be, but this is a place you'll go um, before it gets stupid hot. I just have to film these when I can, and it is stupid hot. <coughs> Keep your eyes open for snakes. And look at that water. All right, guys, this is it. Isn't it beautiful? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut away, make my way over there and see if I see any fish over there. Cause usually this is kind of, I don't know, it's got some wave action and stuff on it, but if you go around that away, so we're looking at towards the, the east, northeast, pretty much way east, um, into the end of the cut back here, or the cup, you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of fish back in that back corner. So let's go take a look. Remember guys, always check the bug action as you're walking through here. If you see little grasshoppers, think about a little coyote car fly. I sell those, but you can make it yourself. There's a video, I'll put a link right here to that video. So you can go tie your own coyote car flies and that will emulate these little grasshoppers that I see right now on into when they get bigger as well. Gosh, this water's great. I gotta show you this. So when you're looking at this water, it looks brown, right? Well, it's not brown. That's the sand. It's, you can see all the way through the water because it's so clear to the brown sand below. Now, when I see this sand, one of the things you learn is you gotta have a little bit of vegetation out here, like in this, in this for the fish to even wanna come up at all. So make sure if it's just pure sand with no vegetation, that's a waste of time. So we've got a little bit of vegetation here. I think the only reason there's no fish here is pretty simple. It's too too hot it's too freaking hot so that's what's going on here um god the water's perfect though you can go swimming here um and then in the evening out there is some some um plant life whatever coontails or whatever they call it and that stuff the, the bass will start to come up around that in the evening time so keep your eyes on that as well if you're in a boat you know you got a whole different perspective whole different advantage but this is one of the holes I like and the, the little cove I like. If you look back over there, I don't know if I'm holding this right, but if you look back over there, nowhere in there, that is sweet city right there. That is sweet city right there. You can't hear me, can you? <laughs> oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. All right guys, so this is the second spot I've shown you guys over on the eastern side of Lake Ray Roberts. I've got one spot that I want to show you on the west side and I think I'm gonna get away with flying the drone over there. So what we're gonna do is, uh, that might take a little while for that west side for me to show you that. But when we get to it, it's gonna be really cool because we're gonna get some altitude on it and make it a lot easier for you guys to tell where it is and what's going on. But just another wonderful afternoon walk through the forest of Lake Ray Roberts here in North Texas. Just a little ways north of Dallas and Fort Worth. Pretty unbelievable, isn't it? 
Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, please. There's more to come.